Welcome back. Earlier in the show, Cindy sat down with John DeYoung from Air Masters Tampa Bay, along with Keith and Mackenzie Overton from Tradewinds Island Resorts. Now, Mackenzie had a heart transplant at just 17 days old. So they've started an organization called Athletes for Hearts. It helps families pay for medical expenses. Scott Bartlett from the band Saving Abel is also a survivor of heart disease. And we're going to leave you now with Cindy's interview with Scott. And he's also performing an original song called This Old Heart <laughs> of Mine. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Earlier we told you about Athletes for Heart, and now we are meeting a gentleman who is a champion for the organization, Scott Bartlett, the guitarist for Saving Able. You have very personal reasons for doing this, don't you? Yeah, um, I don't guess you're allowed to say you beat heart failure because you sort of live with it, mm -hmm. but mine is managed after about two or three years, roughly. Um, I was in and out of hospitals, and uh, I saw a lot of sick children in the process. And not having kids of my own, um, I can tell you there's nothing, there's nothing more discouraging than a kid that's given up hope. And I saw that, but then I saw some kids, this one kid I remember, I never got his name, but he was just elated that he got to go to the cafeteria to eat because he got to get out of his room. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, I'm sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Here's this kid that's finding solace in cafeteria food. Maybe I should turn my story into hope instead of despair and if I get through this use the platform of saving able to spread the word about having kids be more hopeful and not be despaired by having heart problems and did you only realize that you had a heart condition at the age of 40 or was that something you had lived with your whole life no way of knowing literally <laughs> so what did they do for you well they installed a pacemaker defibrillator mm -hmm. um, and they put me on meds and three years later here I am and here you are, still rocking. Rocking and a rolling. And it hasn't slowed you down. No. So let's talk about your connection to Keith Overton here at the Tradewinds and, and how you got involved in all of this. Well, Keith brought Saving Able here last year. Mm -hmm. um, so we met, and he was a great guy, fantastic host. Knew nothing about his daughter, Mackenzie, or the foundation. Mm -hmm. And he came and saw us at Bike Week. Um, and I made sure I was the tour manager for Saving Able at the time running double duty yeah and uh, I called to follow up and make sure he would had a good time and it started this dialogue and I told him about my song and what I wanted to do and he just literally I mean he said you just brought a tear to my eye and he told me the story of Mackenzie and it was then and there that we decided to partner up so what is your role now and what is your goal what are you going to do and how are you getting other bands involved well I'm friends with all the bands I grew up listening to because mm -hmm. of being in Saving Able my goal is to spread awareness and throw an annual concert and give money to families in need for heart failure kids. Um, and also to have a song that I wrote, This Old Heart of Mine, which is for the kids who are sick. Um, have my friends in rock bands visit various pulmonary pediatric wards, mm -hmm. have lunch with these kids, perform the song and have the kids sing along with them. And again, preach hope instead of disparity. Well, good for you. And would you mind uh, performing this old heart of mine for us? I brought my trusty axe. That would be fantastic. All right. Thanks, Scott Bartlett from Saving Able. This old heart of mine. Will this old heart of mine Takes me back 
to you and back to you and back to you. I've seen this world. 